Hi folks and welcome back to another episode of This English Malarkey. We're back in Wolverhampton and today's question is, do you like living in Wolverhampton? Yeah, I really like it actually, yeah. Yes. Truthfully, not particularly. Let's get to it. Do you like living in Wolverhampton? I do it if I wouldn't go ahead town. It's like a, all industrial towns. It has one or two small problems, but I've got a very good council that tries to get on top of all things. Mm-hmm. I love living in Wolverhampton. Hey, what do you love about it? I love the atmosphere. I love the history of the place. Mm-hmm. And I love the environment itself because it is so central to so many other places. Okay. We've had that response a few times, actually. You can go to London in two hours. It's pretty brilliant. It's right, central for everywhere. Exactly. Uh, Wolverhampton has its problems, which we can't deny, mm-hmm. but on the whole, there's more pros than cons. Do you like living in Wolverhampton? Truthfully, not particularly. Okay. Um, I don't like that it's. I don't, I don't like some of the people, <laughs> some of the sights you see. Um, and I come from the beach, so okay. I prefer living next to the beach. Okay. Where do you come from? Southampton. Okay. Well, that's very far away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What brought you here to Wolverhampton? Uh, long story, family. Okay. So. Do you like living in Wolverhampton? I do, yes. Okay. What do you like about living in Wolverhampton? Uh, it seems to be a lot of progress going on around here. Uh, lots of buildings being uh, built and lots of, uh, especially in the adult education and the college, lots of um, expansion. Okay. Do you like living in Wolverhampton? Yeah, I really like it actually. Yeah, I moved here about seven months ago and I'm uh, really quite impressed with what they've got going on here. There's lots to do. There's um, Everything's really accessible. Yeah, yeah, really enjoy it. I've lived at about 38 places in the country, wow. so yeah, this is probably ranking up there, probably top two. Whereabouts are you from originally? Uh, a place called Boreham Wood, North London. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've, you know, I've just sort of moved all over. Um, yeah, I've just been 40 years old, so okay. done a lot of moving around. Do you like living in Wolverhampton? Yes. What do you like about living in Wolverhampton? Nice people. Uh, chopping air isn't all that much, but the rest of it's okay. Okay. Have you good been football team? Good football team. They've done very well this year, haven't they? Okay. They have. Who's your favourite player? The Mexican bloke. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's his name? Jimenez or something. Jimenez, maybe. Yeah, yeah, him. Like, yeah. Do you like living in Wolverhampton? Yeah, of course. I live here uh, for five months, and it's very, very nice, quiet, quiet town. I think it's a good town to live. Do you like living in Wolverhampton? Yeah, it's quite good. Okay. What do you like about it in particular? Um, I don't really know. Um, I don't live in Wolverhampton, but I work here. Okay. Do you like Wolverhampton then? Yeah, yeah, it's a good city. Um, it's quite good relations to where I live. Um, you know, it's easy commute. Um, really quite up to date area. You know, there's a lot of development going on, so it's yeah, it's okay. much nicer place than some other places I've worked. Okay. Um, links, good links to where? Where do you live, sorry? Um, so I live in Telford, which is probably about um, 20 minutes on on the train from here towards Shrewsbury. Okay. So, but yeah, obviously you can get yourself to Birmingham or mm-hmm. head on further than that. So yeah, in terms of links to other cities, it's yeah, okay. pretty impressive. Uh, I've lived in the area all my life, so it's kind of the only thing I know really, but it is a great area. It's very multicultural, so mm-hmm. I do enjoy it. Okay. What is your favourite thing about Wolverhampton? I think, my, for me, the, the university is probably the best best thing because I moved from Warsaw to Wolverhampton for the university, so that's my, probably my favourite thing. Okay, it's not too far to move, though, is it? No, no, oh. it was okay. Okay. Cool. Do you have plans to leave Wolverhampton ever? Um, no, not, probably not. Not really. Does it just have everything you need? It's, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you plan on living here your whole life, perhaps? Uh, maybe a few years, but definitely not like for the entire life. I'm at, hoping to move down south. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Job prospects, perhaps? Um, interpreting. Okay, the that's brilliant. Sign language. Okay, that's yeah. really cool. Okay. Can you show us some sign language at all? Uh, what do you want me to say? Just say uh, hello. Oh, that's quite easy, <laughs> sorry. Um, could you say this English malarkey? Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. That's the name of our channel, oh, okay. just in case. And what attracted you to Wolverhampton? Was it the job? Um, primarily, yeah. I mean, obviously, location's important when you're looking for work, but. Um, yeah, in terms of in relation to where I live, Wolverhampton's one of the closest, but obviously there's so much, you know, going on here in terms of money being spent to improve things and the uh, work opportunities, loads of big companies around here. So yeah, 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 quite good. Brilliant. 
brilliant. Anything else at all you'd like to add about Wolverhampton? Um, no, I say if, if people want to come here and just you know experience a bit a big part of the Black Country, then yeah, I think it's a good place to start. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Cheers. Okay, what's your favourite thing about Wolverhampton? My favourite thing. I like West Park. Yeah, very great park. Big. I spent time um, uh, spent time in West Park uh, a few hours at the weekend. Okay. You know. Yeah. yeah. This is my the best place yeah. in Wolverhampton. I really like West Park as well. What is there to do in West Park? Uh, I'm running. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in uh, Saturday, every Saturday I'm running. I play football, mm-hmm. and sometimes just go to park and chill. Yeah, yeah. I think that's it. Parks are great places to chill. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you very Have much. Have a good rest of your day. See ya. Thank you. Do you like the shopping here? Yeah, I do. Okay. And where's your favorite place to eat in Wolverhampton? Um, I think I'm. I only really eat like Greg's and Mackey's from here. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. So what is it particularly, uh, particularly that you like about Wolverhampton? Just how everything is just so accessible. I mean, the, the people are friendly, um, come from London, so obviously anybody's friendlier than <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. in London. Like. Um, and, and just like the amount of things we've got going on here, every, every corner you turn there's like something different to do, something to explore. Historically speaking, there's lots of things around as well. Okay. And uh, it's, it's quite aesthetically pleasing, I think, as well. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll take that. That's brilliant. Okay. Uh, anything else at all you'd like to add about Wolverhampton? Um, no, I just love the town, really. Just getting to know it and, uh, you know, and, and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying, enjoying living here. Have you lived here all your life? Well, I actually live in Bilston, which is part of Wolverhampton, but yeah, all my life, basically, yeah. So would you say you're black country born and bred? Definitely. Brilliant. Anything else you'd like to add about Wolverhampton for us? No. no, nice people in the main. Mm-hmm. Few not so nice, but in the main, okay. Good hospital as well. I worked there. New Cross. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, that's about it, I think. Okay, that's brilliant. Thank you so much for your time. Right, Have then. a good rest of your day. And you. Thank you. Bye. Is there any good points about it at all? Um. <laughs> no, not really. There must be something. <laughs> um. Some of the people are nice, like okay. some of the people are quite friendly. Depends where you go in Wolverhampton, so yeah. the city centre, yeah. find not so friendly. Okay. But you go further out to Wensfield and stuff, it's quite nice. Okay, yeah. Where well, you get these annoying people asking you questions in the centre, don't <laughs> Exactly, you? yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much, that's really <laughs> going to help. You. Have a good rest of your day. You too. Cheers. Yeah. Anything in particular that you like about Wolverhampton? Um, I think everything's pretty much uh, laid out quite easily, yeah. Where are you from? Are you from Wolverhampton originally? No, I'm, no, I'm from Plymouth originally. Okay, Plymouth. Yeah. And what made you move to Wolverhampton then? Um, well, I was in the Navy. I left the Navy, uh, moved up to the Midlands and settled in Wolverhampton. Okay. And you don't regret it? No, this is this is home now, so this is where I am. Okay, brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time. Okay. No Have a good rest of your day. All right, thank you. Thank you. Anything else to add about Wolverhampton at all? Wolverhampton is the start of a great future. Mm-hmm. I can just about remember when it had its great times in the 50s, which was a totally different place to where it is now. Mm -hmm. Uh, It was full of industry, hard work, unbelievably heavy traffic where we're standing now. And just look how much nicer it is now. (laughs) It's got its problems, as as I keep repeating, Mm -hmm. but things will only get better. We can only hope. If the council do as they promise, Mm -hmm. then Wolverhampton's gonna be great. We can hope so, definitely. And the university is the diamond in the whole place. That and the football team. Yeah, well, the football team's doing very well this year, haven't they? Do it next year and we're on our way. Brilliant stuff. Uh, anything else at all you'd like to mention about Wolverhampton? Why it's so special or great? Uh, they have, do have a lot of public events, on, like, for example, Wolverhampton Live that just just come and then the entire city came out, came out to watch that, so it was worth coming. And what was that exactly? It was a big concert that happened just down there. Okay, yeah. very nice. So. Well, that's really cool. Well, thank you very much thank for your you time. Um, what's your favourite thing about living in Wolverhampton? I think the funny thing, it, what it is, it's the culture of the town. It's, it's a very diverse culture. We've got also a very, I have to use the word interfaith culture, where we do share with each other. You know, mm-hmm. we have our differences, but we all share the same God. Yeah. I don't want to be lordy lordy about this, but you know, that's okay. one of the wonderful things about Wolverhampton. Okay. That's just one aspect. Yeah. yeah, lots of differences in the town. Find the bargain stone. Okay. The what, sorry? Exactly. Everybody who lives in Wolverhampton, if you're still filming, knows nothing about the bargain stone. One second. Is it still filming? 
Good. <laughs> What's the bargain stone? The bargain stone is a big stone somewhere in the gardens here, which we're now going to find with a hole in it. Okay. And, what's and it the do? idea was in medieval times, <laughs> you put your arms through to conceive of a bargain. Okay. Job deal well done and all that. All right. So we now just cross the road, and we've lived here all our lives to find the bargain stone. Oh right. So we join you on all this the Hamptons occasion. hidden history. Brilliant. Thank you so much. I had no idea about <laughs> exactly. that myself. And nobody else has either. No. Well, they will now, okay? We'll tell them <laughs> about the bargain stone. But well, I do ramble on. I do apologise. Not a problem. This is what it's all about. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. Enjoy the day. And good luck. Yeah. Ciao. <laughs> bargain stone. The bargain stone. Yeah. Is there anything else you could re recommend to people if they were coming to visit that they could go and see, perhaps? Yes, indeed. Immediately 100 yards from here is St. Peter's Collegiate Church. And this is a tremendously interesting church, built in 1205. Mm -hmm. Button Gwynnett, the house that we're standing, who signed the signature, he was a signature of the uh, independence from, in the Americas from England, in fact was married in that church and this house belonged to him. But the church is not just a church, it's also a historical place. It tells you where people have been and whatever. There's a monument to Charles II, or a man who actually helped Charles II to escape, and mm -hmm. uh, his family tombs in there. So that's one of many things. There's very many quirky things in there, which, you know, there's a very warm welcome for people to go in there. But there's very many interesting places in Wolverhampton, which are not just only the church. OK, of course. Well, thank you so much for your time today. It's been my pleasure. So thanks for joining us today, folks, where we've seen people's opinions on Wolverhampton. Subscribe for more videos, like this video if you did actually like it, um, comment for any ideas that you have for any more future videos. And uh, remember, you've got this English malarkey.